welcome to another beach day. Just a relaxed day, nothing wrong. Beach day. Um, a beach close to Crown Point. Crown Point is one of the places that has one of the hotels that's always fully booked. It's a beautiful beach, it's very relaxed. And you also have Nylon Beach that's very close. And that actually, I'm actually looking now at the tour that goes to Nylon uh, Beach, which is really close by. I'm gonna show you um, the boat that goes there. I'm just gonna turn my camera around. So that takes you to an island that's close by called Nylon Point and basically it's a beach that's close by. It's like a very shallow little island but you have to get there by boat. Welcome to a new vlog. If you do not know me, my name is Anaz, and I am that girl who's always in a different country, in a different city, in a different village, or in a different island. <laughs> uh, yeah, so if you haven't catched the first part or the second part of the vlog, you can still catch it. The links are right in the bio, so you can catch it right in the bio. So today, I'm starting an official new vlog, going hiking got the whole fit ready to hike i'm going hiking um we're going to english english man's bay where i think that is the beach um after the hike we're gonna go to the beach oh my god it is stunning when i saw the pictures and the videos i was like this is a place to go to i was like oh my word oh my word it's a must go it's a must go when i saw the pictures and the videos i was like oh wow english man bay okay but i guess we'll see it all together when we go there because i'm going there for the first time as well i absolutely cannot wait i cannot wait today was um in the morning it was raining the time is probably like almost 8 30. we're gonna leave just now um the weather i think is just perfect because it did rain in the morning so it left like a really cool kind of feeling in terms of the weather it's not so hot that's why it looks like a little bit gloomy gloomy looks a little bit gloomy cloudy but it's actually really really good i know probably like midday the sun is going to come out and it's going to get really hot but i'm excited to go to the different side of town and also like we're going to try and do hiking we're going to hike first and we're going to go also to the waterfalls so here's my thing here's my whole thing when it comes to waterfalls i'm not the type 
I'm not the type to jump into the waterfalls because the last time I did that in Dominica, I didn't know this because in South Africa, when we see waterfalls, we're like, oh, so pretty. There's bonus waterfalls, as Asentla, Asentla, oh wow, waterfalls. Ooh, let me take a picture behind the waterfall. Ooh, cling, cling. Ooh, that, you know, that's like a vibe. You just take a picture with the waterfall behind you. You don't jump into the waterfall. But when the last time I went in, I went into the waterfalls in Dominican Republic with my friend. She took me there. And the whole time she was telling me, are you gonna jump or are you gonna slide? And I didn't understand this question because in my head I was like, we're hiking, right? And we're probably gonna come across waterfalls, but I didn't know that we had to jump into the waterfalls for us to get to the other side. So I hope this is not the same um, experience because this girl is not ready to jump into waterfalls or be sliding into waterfalls. I'm not, I'm honestly not, vibing in the whole thing of let's jump into waterfalls let's no 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 that's we're not doing that we're not doing that but it will be nice to see some waterfalls and also hike up and then go to the beach and just relax for the day and go to a couple of other beaches that are there as well because they have a lot of beaches that side so it's going to be a whole day of exploring come with me let's go and enjoy a whole day of exploring let's go and enjoy a whole day of fun and adventure this girl's ready for adventure we ready for adventure ready for adventure yeah ready for adventure okay let's get this tour started this is where we want to start lowlands that's where we are based we're gonna go from lowlands all around right around right around a lot of curves we're gonna get to that point that point is where we want to do the hike we had considered that point to do the hike and we considered that point to do the hike but when we were driving around the locals advised that's the best one because it has the waterfall that's another waterfall right there in the middle but we're going for that waterfall then we're gonna go after the hike go all the way around to english man's bay english man's bay let me tell you that is the inspiration of this tour this is why i'm doing this tour because i saw english man and i was like i gotta go so you have to stay tuned so you can see english man's bay so our drive is about to start actually it has started we are driving there now a very long drive not that long it took around about an hour but let me tell you something you do need a map make sure you get yourself this map if you do want to do this tour around the island because if you're gonna depend on GPS maps sorry for you you're gonna get very lost and you might even lose connection so you really really want to get yourself this map you can get it at the airport I believe you can also get it with tour guides get yourself the physical map don't say I didn't tell you As we started this drive, I couldn't help myself but to start reflecting. Reflecting on so many things. Firstly, I can never get over the beauty of the island. The people that are genuinely so welcoming and helpful. It's so wonderful to see people passionate and take pride in where they come from. Since arriving here, everyone has been so helpful. I mean, everyone from the cab driver to the host strangers walking past it's been just amazing to experience their friendliness experiencing the world does something to you i often say this all the time people often ask you or ask me i should say are you not scared to leave your comfortable home my answer is always definitely no home is with me everywhere i go i speak to my family all the time I carry them with me everywhere I go, overflowing with their love and kindness that grooms me to keep me being and becoming a better version of me. I carry their teachings and apply them daily. Thankful I have such a supportive and present family. I also get to make family for a few days, weeks and months as I travel the world. I get to call the world my neighbors. I get to meet people in happier forms. I have learned to understand that the world is beautiful and full of beautiful people. Sometimes when we are in one place, we tend to get caught up in routine. Please open yourself up to a different kind of routine and it will shock you for real. Tobago.
Tobago. Tobago added more peace and joy. Just watching how people live, where they live, driving through these mountains and these trees and plants has made me more wholesome from the inside. Early mornings and watching sunrises has reminded me of the God we praise. God really is incredible. And when I look at his creation, I mean, as I'm editing this vlog, I'm getting goosebumps as I watch how magical his creation is. Not forgetting how fresh and healing the air in between these mountains is. I see God everywhere. Everywhere God is present. Tobago is paradise on earth. I tell you. You see the Western Club. We just arrived um, at the hiking spot and we're about to hike. What is that? Oh, it's just leaves. I thought it's some sort of animal. I was like, what is that? So it's raining, it's drizzling, but it's not raining that much. It's just drizzling. It should be okay. Nobody was really expecting rain. Nobody was expecting rain because it's not a rainy season. So it's a little bit shocking, but we're about to start the tra trail and then we're going to go through the waterfalls as well. Um, yeah, okay. I'm going to go because this one is raining. Yeah. In my head, I actually thought it was going to... I hope it comes through as well. <laughs> I was hoping that the sun is going to come out, but... We move, we move, we move. Wow, everything is so green, including my top. It's so pretty. I intentionally find God everywhere I go. I find happiness no matter where I am, even by myself. I smile often because I am filled with gratitude and happily living in the present moment. Finding joy in the little things will fulfill you in a way you can't even imagine. Being accountable for your actions and going after your dreams and goals is essential. Dreaming is essential and your dreams are very much valid. Dreams come true and I am a living testimony of that. So don't stop dreaming, be daring and you will be gracefully blessed. Now, look at that guy. He's about to jump off. Guys, I'm not that person to jump off the hill. I'm sorry. Climbing all the way up there is just giving me a whole scare dip down. It's giving me chest pains, actually. I cannot. I will. He's about to jump. He's going to jump. Jump. He is going to jump from there. there. That's the jump. That's the jump. That's the jump that you maybe need to take. That's the jump that you need to take. I don't know. Could be. But all I'm saying, be daring. Be daring. Be dare. Dare life. Dare life and you shall receive whatever it is that you want. It might not come at the time that you want it to come at, but it will. It will. It will time. At the right time, at the right moment, it shall be there. Be daring. Be daring beautiful waterfalls. Now, let's get back into the vlog. So, we managed to do we managed to do the rainforest, but we did just a bit like just the tip of it because it's raining. Um at first it was like drizzling, but now it's like raining heavily. It was so sad. I'm a little bit disappointed because I thought I would be able to go up and see the rest of it. But literally, you can just see just a bit of it because it's so slippery as well. If you're going to go up, you have to use the rope to go up. And yeah, with this rain, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. But yeah, at least I got to see something. At least I got to see a little bit of the waterfall. I didn't go in the water. Everybody was like having fun. If you go into the waterfall, you'll be 20 years younger. So, hmm. But yeah, no, I didn't go inside. But now we're going back. We're going to a restaurant called Space Side. It's one of the coolest restaurants. It's like a treehouse restaurant. And yeah, looking forward to going there. A little bit hot as well. But going back down. We'll see you guys when we get there. Huh? Dead. Dead.
can we talk about how the sun is now coming out and we literally just two minutes away from going back to the reception the sun is coming out i'm so hurt but anyhow even if we did wait for a little bit we still would not be able to go up because it would have um, still been slippery down but the whole sun is out like the sun is coming out it rained the whole time the past two hours has literally been raining and now the sun is out like i yeah wow Ooh, my hair went into my eye wow wow you like in gogo i said to get your land wow but how do we deal with the fact that the sun is coming out i guess it's okay because we're gonna go to the beach in english english man's bay but literally the sun is coming out you know that thing that say that, that says like wake up early so that you can go for a hike we got up so early to prepare for this hike and now look at this the sun is out the clouds i can see the clouds are blue they're no longer gray the clouds are blue no longer gray like how is this happening right now like how how is this happening i'm so hurt like you the head the broken the broken i i i, I don't know how to can you see look at this look at this sun being sun kissed look at this me being sun kissed the whole time i was being rained on like how is this happening right now how are we having a whole sun a whole sun yet it was cold the whole time you are I, I can't deal with the caribbean why goes abanji why why goes abanji wow so anyhow now we're going for lunch in space side and a tree house and they said the food is really good they do seafood i can't have seafood but they do have chicken other kind of things in the menu so that's what i'm gonna have but i'm still like i can't get over the sun i, I really cannot and yes i thought of this i was like maybe we should wait a little bit just a little bit just before going i mean we could have seen more of the waterfalls like more of the waterfalls and you uh, 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 mm -mm. I, like and cause the process but it's okay we move i breathe in we move now we move we move to the next location which the next location is going to be my eye keeps on just bothering me look at the sun guys look at the sunshine look at this it's literally out oh my god i i feel the sun hitting me it's out the sun is out Oh, no, it's fine because we're still going to the beach Yo. wow why why rain gotta be like this i guess the hike was not even as one egg the hike was just not meant to be i guess i'm not so hot yes in the head in the head i can't get over it I really can't. I I cannot. You tonga. Then I only clone. And the worst part is gonna be so sticky. Like oh, it's gonna be so so sticky. You know when you've been rained on, and then now the sun comes. This is so unfair. Honestly, this is so unfair. Was that a mango falling? Wow. <laughs> the way I do it. It's like. <laughs> Yo lo quiero, pues dímelo a mí Que no hago daño Baby, cuando te vi Con tu falda No exagero, me quería morir Yo sé que Estoy loco por ti
side spy side spy side yeah and we're gonna go to the restaurant we stopped by um where you can overlook the view beautiful beautiful absolutely stunning there's a little island that i see right there in the middle you, you get there by boat oh it's so pretty if only i can get there look at me wanting to get there it's so pretty but the views here are just amazing it keeps raining um i don't know why i'm having this thing it's raining it's the it rain it rains it stops it rains it stops that's caribbean weather in general like it will rain for 10 minutes it will pour and then it will stop then it will rain again then it will stop so it's just a whole thing but yeah we're gonna go grab something to eat lunchtime and um look at that background look at that background yo and the channel culture because it's a lot like today has just been a lot i feel so sticky as well because it's rained and the rain literally is stopped on me and then it went again and then it rained again then it stopped again but yeah this is tobago Speyside. tobago Speyside. yes actually i see a ship going a small little boat going there to join that little island <sighs> one within nature within nature feels so relaxing feels so good so peaceful just to be here the signal is on and off the greatest help has honestly been the map that we had this guy um that i used the last time going to the airport to pick up my bags one of the taxi guys he actually gave me a physical map and that map has been so much help because if you're going to use like maps or gps it's really not going to work here you need to have a map to be able to figure your way around also the roads are very small so you need to be a good driver to be able to do the curves and go around but it's very very eventful it's very very eventful it's very um interesting to see everything it's just so pretty it's so relaxing so calming it's just yo come nant come nant come nant i feel at peace i feel at peace um although the hike okay i'm still a little bit a little bit there about the hike but it's okay it's okay we move we move um now we're gonna go we just stopped here just to look at the views and then from there we are gonna go to the restaurant where we're gonna have grab lunch and then from having lunch go to english man's bay i really really pray and hope when we get to english man's um english man's bay that it's hot like the sun is out i'm so over this rain like this rain needs to stop because why is it raining the whole time i've been here the whole time i've been here it's literally been hot every single day and today is just rain 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 i can't okay guys see you there One of the things that actually touched my heart about Tobago, this is just one of them, one of them. There's a lot, this is one of them. As we were driving around, we met strangers. And as we were greeting the strangers, they would greet us with smiles every time we stopped because the roads were so thin and so narrow and didn't have road signs and you couldn't really, didn't really know where you were going. We would ask for directions and they would be so kind. Guys, being kind, makes the world a better place it's something we hear all the time and as cheesy as it may sound you might think yeah yeah whatever but you lose nothing absolutely nothing by being kind you might even save a life like the locals they saved us they saved us from all these narrow roads and getting lost and being able to also find the places that we wanted to visit and the hidden gems that we saw along the ways. They also recommended the most beautiful places that we would see, the beaches, and also they spoke about the portholes that we would come across along the way. Locals were absolutely everything. One of a favorite. Again, one of the favorite things about Tobago.
could go to that little corner table there. Start of the salad and of course the Good. So so good. I tried the salad. Amazing. Chicken, lentils, and veggies. And what did you say this one is? Um, potato something from the potatoes. Potatoes. Fried potatoes. So good. Driving down here is so tricky, absolutely so tricky. Like, you literally panic at some point. You like, yo, ah, uh -uh, guys, I, I literally can't because when I land over, yo, what if like another car is coming? This is a place when you're driving through this road. You cannot be sleeping. Actually, I don't think you can even sleep. You are forced to just sightsee and just see the views and watch the trees. I don't know. Like, the human in me cannot sleep. So, yeah. Anyhow, this is Charlottetown. Such a cute little town. So, we got here. Everything's so green, so pretty. We actually got lost when we got here. Because when we actually got in, we were supposed to turn the other side. And we went all the way in because the map kind of lost us in a sense and we were like hey are we at the right place and i always say this like always ask if you think you're getting lost ask now i could ask five people or seven people in one go because i don't like being lost i really don't like being lost because i've been lost many 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 a times actually this guy that's actually sitting there that guy right there on the, on the left no on the right we asked him so we drove past him and we went all the way and where that taxi is we kind of went up because we thought yeah so we're driving to englishman's bay now but the road is so tight it is so tight it's literally one car can pass at a time look at that Roads are so 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 tight. Um, it's it's just it's 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 a whole wow. It's a whole wow, a whole wow. But it's beautiful. I think this is the poor hole the guy was talking about. It's a big one over there. So yeah, you have to be very extra slow when you're driving through this road because it's literally one car that can drive at a moment at a time. Only one car can drive at a time. And you know the one guy when we were when he was recommending the restaurant we went to which had delicious food he said um we could go all the way back but that's basically making the trip much more longer so now we this is basically us taking the straightforward way to get there but it's way tight but it's beautiful there's not a lot of cars we literally the only car that's here we'll probably see a lot of cars on the way Views stunning. Views up here are delightful. Everything is so green, so pretty, so beautiful. It smells good. It smells fresh. It smells good. It smells so 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 good. Honestly, this was worth it. This was worth every single. This was worth the five flights. The five flights that I had to take coming here. It was honestly worth it. I just I'm like so taken away I'm like oh yes and to think that initially because this is what I was looking for when I wanted to go to Bali I was like okay this is the whole vibe and I'm getting it here Caribbean kind of vibe oh my god I have to show you this look at how tight that is I have a whole designated uh, safe driver here So eventually, yeah, we asked that guy and we found our way going back.
So we had to go back and turn back. He was, we didn't really understand what he was saying, but he was nice. And we had to ask more people on the way because we were just getting lost and we felt like, oh my God, we're getting lost. And now this is why, like, for me, I will ask one person and ask the next person and ask the next person just to confirm because I don't want to get lost. Like I tell you, I've been lost in a lot of times. If you watch a lot of my vlogs, you will always see me getting lost and trying to figure out my way around. So locals will always be your best friend when you travel or when you are in a foreign country because they shall help you. If you smile and you ask and you are nice, people will help you always. Back to the drive. So now we were driving we were dri oh, we were still driving to Englishman's Bay here. Yeah, we're still doing the drive. Oh, look at that. There's a church. I don't know why I didn't see that while we were driving there. Because if I did, I probably would have been like, dude, please stop the car because I want to go in the church. I'm always going in a church because I'm such a church girl. You always find me in a church. I get fascinated about, um, about churches for some reason. But also, a person once told me that every time you see a church, you should always stop and go inside and make a prayer. So I kind of do that all the time. Anyhow, we stopped here again along the way. This is why we didn't want to take a tour because we wanted to stop everywhere we saw. That was a little bit like a wow moment for us. I, th I thought this was a wow moment with my naked eye. I really thought this was a wow moment. But this camera just doesn't do it justice. I don't know if it does. I don't think it does it that much. But like when we passed by, we were just like, whoa like literally we're like whoa we need to stop there and kind of see what's happening it's it was so beautiful breathtaking absolutely breathtaking yeah that's like this is giving you the kind of the vision but not the full vision that's the thing like sometimes with pictures oh yeah, yeah look at that that is um i think they call this bloody bay beach um we're very tempted to go down but you can see there's not a lot of people in that beach but we were very tempted to go down and go there. But yeah, we didn't. Absolutely beautiful beach. Oh, and then we decided after passing by that beach, we went here to grab a drink. This was like a break stop. So we grabbed one beer and then we were off again. Don't drink and drive. Remember that. Look at the views. How pretty. How beautiful is this? I actually saw some... I saw someone's vlog with this picture. I think it was African Tigers. African Tigers, yeah. I think she had this picture as her cover for her vlog. She also kind of did this drive. But I didn't really watch her vlog fully, but I still want to go back and watch it. But let me tell you, this 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 drive is... If you go to Tobago, you have to. You have to. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Before we even get there, let's 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 give a moment of silence. Ladies and gentlemen, I would love to introduce to you Englishman Bay. Ding, 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 ding. I lost, I lost it. Like when I got here, I lost it. I absolutely lost it. I hope you can feel and have the same vision or the same feeling I had when I got here or when I, like even when I'm like looking at it now, I'm just like, wow, wow, wow. I'm like, wow. Like a dream. does this not feel like a dream beach it's so empty literally there's like i can count the people that are here like one two three four five literally around about less than 20 people are here this is one of the best oh i don't know <laughs> something in the sand i have to say this has honestly this is just one of the best beaches that i've honestly been and it serves it justice. When I saw the videos and the pictures, I was like, I have to come here. I have to come here. It's reminding me or it's giving me vibes of like Thailand beach kind of going vibe. Wow. It's, it's very pretty. Very deep though, I must say. Like it's very, very deep. Um, also kind of like the beaches in South Africa where they kind of pull you in. Because it kind of draws you in, draws you in, draws you in. But it's a whole vibe. The drive coming here was worth it. And the weather is perfect. It's not too hot. It's not too cold. It's just perfect. Oh my god. I am I'm blown away. Englishman Bay. Yes. Yes. I love it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I'm gonna show you from this angle. Okay, look at that. 
you can't see it like with this camera you can't really see it as much but maybe from this distance you can see the back over there it's giving island vibes i could just stay here wake up here every morning watch the sunset i can only imagine how beautiful the sunset must be i can only just imagine i mean you can just chill here and just relax and read a book just listen to good music just forget about life like it is this is the one this is the one oh and i love the fact that it's also so empty there's literally nobody it's so quiet absolutely so quiet there's just a few people it's stunning it's quiet all i'm just listening to is just waves there is a little restaurant that you can have tea just by the corner probably we'll have some tea experience something local i saw a couple having tea and just watching the waves so probably that's something to do we are rushing to get back as well because the roads are very narrow we don't want to drive at night so we do want to look out for that and kind of do something but if i don't have time because my battery is running low and we don't have a car charger if i don't have time to come up here and close off this day this would be me closing the day off here in englishman bay's beach oh my god all the right vibes all the right vibes all the right vibes i'm gonna go in take a dip and i will see you guys when i do something else different or in a different beach tomorrow because i feel like i'm just gonna be a beach babe throughout this whole trip so this is all island life and i will see you guys in a different beach in a different day yeah let me go in for a dip i'm so excited and the water is so cold there's also people snorkeling as well if you want to snorkel so yeah I'm watching this vlog as I'm editing it and it touches my soul, it touches my heart how beautiful Tobago was. I honestly have had the most amazing time and I hope you have enjoyed the whole vlog with me and the whole experience and the whole series. I have another vlog that I'll be putting out very soon, the last bit of Tobago, I think I had mentioned earlier on in this vlog. Thank you so much for watching, it's honestly been a great pleasure. And yeah, Tobago will always be engraved in my heart. I'll forever cherish the memories. Um, while editing this vlog today, there's just so many things that have happened. And I'm just at a space and at a moment in my life where I'm like, God, why are we doing this again? And sometimes you don't have the answer and you ask God these questions and you're like, God, I just don't understand. But I've also made peace with the fact that it's okay. Although it's not okay, but it's okay. Um, God does everything for a reason. And sometimes, later on in life, it does get revealed. So, it's all good. Life goes on. We move. Next chapter ahead. And looking forward to the next chapter ahead. I will forever cherish the memories. Forever cherish this phase of my life. And this season of my life. Continue enjoying all the vlogs. And... Look out for the new vlog that's coming out. See you in another Tobago vlog. Not home till midnight. I want somebody to hold my hand. Cause I got my head in the clouds, but I'm getting really scared of high. I used to spend time.